Hi, back for more videos. Welcome to Astrology Experts YouTube channel. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video as I'm sure you would learn so many things about astrology. What are the zodiac signs and what's your sun sign? If you know anything about astrology, chances are you know the 12 signs of the zodiac. These are Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Your date of birth determines your zodiac and this serves as your ultimate guide in astrology. Many people know which of these signs is their sun sign. When someone says, I'm a Scorpio, or my partner is a Gemini, they're talking about their sun sign. Although what does it really mean to be a Scorpio or a Gemini? This means that, at the time of your birth, the sun was in that particular sign. The sun stays in each sign for about a month, but these month-long periods do not correspond to the calendar months. The astrological zodiac also doesn't line up with the astronomical constellations. If this were true, the time period during which someone could be born with Aries or Pisces as their sun sign would fluctuate over the years. This is due to the tilt of the earth changing the way we see the night sky as time goes on. Both astrologers and non-astrologers alike find this to be confusing. You can think of the astrological zodiacs as being more about seasons or energies rather than the actual astronomical placement of the sun, moon, or planets within the constellation in the sky. So what about sun signs? Back to sun signs, what does it mean to be born with the sun in any given sign? You can think of your sun sign as your ego or your self-image. This is your basic personality and might be how you see yourself, as opposed to how the world sees you. Some people express their sun sign strongly. Of course, you're a Libra, someone might say upon learning your sun sign. On the other hand, you may have a hard time seeing how your reserved, introverted roommate is an Aries. Your sun sign can also indicate how you react under stressful situations. Again, astrology and natal charts can be your ultimate guide into coding behaviors of others and yourself. That Aries roommate might typically be quiet and calm, but explode with anger when stressed out. At their core, they're still an Aries sun, regardless of other factors in their life or on their birth chart affecting how they act. The core of who they are is tied to their sun sign when push comes to shove. They may even strongly identify with being an Aries, but be aware of some of the negative traits associated with the sign. Therefore, they might make an effort to avoid displaying those traits. The sun sign is one but of the elements of your overall natal chart or the placement of the sun, moon, and planets at the exact time of your birth. It is an important element and one that is closely tied to your personality. So now let's go ahead and discuss the zodiacs and their sun signs. Aries, March 21st till April 19th. Aries says I am. It is a cardinal fire sign and is ruled by the planet Mars. The constellation Aries is a ram and Aries is certainly as headstrong as the animal is. Those who have Aries as their sun sign tend to be assertive and competitive. They are very independent people who know how to branch out and do things for themselves. They are great at initiating things and getting them going but don't necessarily always follow through until the end. On the negative side, Aries can be aggressive and impatient. They might be quick to anger and they definitely know how to argue. Aries is also honest, sometimes to a fault. You can trust that what they are telling you is the truth, but they have brutally honest down to an art. The lesson Aries and Sai needs to learn is to find that line between assertive and aggressive between being honest and being harsh. Taurus, April 20 till May 20th. Taurus says, I have an earth sign ruled by the planet Venus. The constellation of Taurus resembles a bull. Like a bull, this can be a very stubborn sign. People with their sun in Taurus tend to be very grounded. They seek out stability in their lives. They also enjoy sensual things and have an appreciation for pleasure and beauty. Taurus is a type to enjoy a long nap out in the sun on a nice day or to relax with some tea by the fire on cold days. Taurus zodiac signs can also be resistant to any change in their routine, however. They do not like to feel unsure or like they are losing that sense of stability they desire. This can manifest in many ways, such as being unwilling to change their mind or opinion. The lesson Taurus sun signs need to learn is to branch out beyond their comfort zone. Stability needs to be beneficial and comforting, not suffocating. Gemini, May 21st till June 20th. 
Gemini says, I think, it is a mutable air sign and it is ruled by the planet Mercury. The constellation of Gemini is the image of twins. This shows the dualistic nature Gemini can have. Gemini zodiac signs love to talk and they love to gather information. This sun sign is curious and inquisitive. Gemini is willing to be flexible and to adapt their thinking as they gather more information. They make great conversational partners and can often be good at learning other languages. Gossip is a problem people with Gemini suns tend to have. Sometimes they can't resist sharing the things they've learned even when they shouldn't. They can also be impulsive, going beyond being just fun and spontaneous. The lesson Gemini needs to learn is that sharing information is all well and fine, but sharing other people's business is not. Spontaneity keeps things interesting. However, it is good to stop and consider what you're doing before acting sometimes. Cancer, June 21st to July 22nd. Cancer says, I feel. It is a cardinal water sign ruled by the moon. The constellation of Cancer is a crab. Like a crab, this is a sign that can often retreat into its shell. People with a sun in Cancer tend to be caring, sensitive, and intuitive. They have a deep understanding of the emotions of other people. Cancers are nurturing and supportive, not just with loved ones, but with people in general. An emotional sign like Cancer can also become moody. Some people might consider them to be overly sensitive. They may also take their caring nature a bit too far and become clingy or even smothering. When they feel vulnerable, they might withdraw from those around them. The lesson Cancer needs to learn is that it's okay to be vulnerable. Just as they like to care for others, they should allow others to care for them. Leo, July 23rd to August 22. Leo says, I will. It is a fixed fire sign ruled by the sun. The constellation of Leo is a lion, and Leos can certainly be as prideful as their symbol. Leos are natural born leaders. This innate ability is their ultimate compass in life. People with a sun sign tend to be confident, determined, and creative. They have a lot of energy and stand out in a crowd. Leos are warm and enthusiastic, often making the people around them feel the same zest for life that they do. Leo zodiac signs can also be vain or develop a false sense of confidence in their abilities. This is a sign that loves attention. They may become attention-seeking to a fault. The lesson Leo needs to learn is to share the spotlight. It isn't bad to take pride in what you do or to feel confident. You just need to allow others to shine their own light every now and then. Virgo. Virgo says, I analyze. It is a mutable earth sign. The planet Mercury rules Virgo. The constellation of Virgo is a maiden. The energy Virgo has is a humble, helpful one. Virgo sun signs can be very practical people. They can be orderly, organized, and tend toward analytical thinking. Virgos are helpful people. They're service-oriented and are always willing to lend a helping hand. Being overly analytical can lead to being judgmental or critical. Criticisms from a Virgo can be extremely harsh. Virgos can also get caught up in perfectionism, then finding they can never live up to their own expectations. The lessons Virgos need to learn is that it's not possible to be perfect all the time. Sometimes you need to step back and let something B. Worrying and stressing out about every little detail just doesn't serve you well at the end of the day. Libra, September 23rd to October 22nd. Libra says, I balance. It is a cardinal air sign and is ruled by the planet Venus. The constellation of Libra is a set of scales, showing the balanced nature of this sign. Those who have the sun in Libra can see both sides of the story. They can objectively listen to all sides of an argument and are great at being diplomatic and fair. This is a charming social sign that finds it easy to see things from other people's points of view. It's great to listen to everyone's opinion, but at some point, you have to decide what you believe. Libra can be very indecisive at times, or they can flip-flop between opinions. They may even refrain from voicing out their own thoughts in order to avoid confrontation. Libra needs to learn the difference between hearing all sides and playing devil's advocate. You have your own opinions and still be fair while doing so. Scorpio, October 23rd, November 21st. Scorpio says, I desire. It is a fixed water sun with Mars and Pluto as its ruling planet. The constellation of Scorpio is a scorpion. This is not a sign to mess with. Scorpio is an intense, passionate, and often mysterious sign. People with a sun in Scorpio tend to have certain allures about them, a sort of magnetism that draws people in. They are also intuitive, perceptive, and insightful, being able to pick up on other things that people may not notice. 
Core bears can also be very secretive and elusive. They like to keep people at arm's length, and it can be tough to get past their emotional walls. That passion of theirs can be a problem if left unchecked. That may lead to obsession and jealousy. The lesson Scorpio has to learn is that it's okay to let people in. They also need to find that line between passion and obsession. Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st. Sagittarius says, I seek. It is a mutable fire sign. It is ruled by Jupiter. The constellation of Sagittarius is an adventurous centaur. People with a sun in Sagittarius are travelers at heart. They love to explore new places and new ideas. They enjoy finding meaning in life and are often fans of philosophy and of learning about other cultures. This is a sign that values freedom and open-mindedness. That desire for freedom can lead to Sagittarius and people being flighty or unreliable. Sometimes their need for adventure can lead to impractical or rash decisions. They can also become dogmatic when it comes to topics like philosophy or religion. Sagittarius needs to learn to settle down now and then. Jumping at every opportunity may lead to forgetting about prior commitments. They can still enjoy their freedom without becoming unreliable or having people think they can't count on them. Capricorn, December 22nd to January 19th. Capricorn says, I use. It is a cardinal earth sign. The planet Saturn rules the sign. The constellation of Capricorn is a horned goat or a sea goat. People who have Capricorn as their sun sign tend to be responsible and ambitious. They see things through until the end and are hard workers. They are patient and wait for the right time to do things. Capricorns are level-headed and practical individuals. Too much practicality can be a bad thing though. Capricorns may neglect their emotional side, avoiding it entirely at times. This can make them come off as cold or aloof. They can also become very overly serious and even pessimistic. Projects they should have abandoned can end up taking all their time as they insist on finishing what they started no matter what. Capricorns has to learn to get in touch with their emotions, which should be used as their ultimate guide in decision making. Being emotional doesn't mean being impractical. Aquarius, January 20th to Feb 18th. Aquarius says, I know. It is a fixed air sign and is ruled by Saturn and Uranus. The constellation of Aquarius is the water bearer, showing the signs humanitarian nature. Aquarians can be very eccentric people. They are friendly, independent, and innovative. People who have their sun in Aquarius are great at thinking of ways to change the world. They are group and future oriented. Often they have a visionary air about them. Aquarius sun people can get restless if they don't feel like change is coming quickly enough. They can also get lost in how they think things should be that they lose sight of how they actually are now. While they are friendly, they can also appear impersonal and detached. This is due to their focus on the big picture and the world as a whole instead of individual people. Aquarius needs to learn that some things take time. The world needs people who can think of ways to make a better future, but it does no good becoming impatient waiting for a world that doesn't exist yet. Pisces. Pisces says, I believe. It is a mutable water sign that is ruled by Jupiter and Neptune. The constellation of Pisces is two fishing swirling around one another. People with sun in Pisces are compassionate, sensitive, and artistic. They may even be psychic or empathetic. These people are imaginative and can have a dreamy quality about them. Pisces people make great artists and musicians with their creativity as their ultimate guide and career. Being a dreamer can lead to being overly idealistic or to develop escapist tendencies. Due to the sensitive nature of Pisces, this can also cause them to become impressionable or gullible. Empathic people often also become moody due to the strain of the emotions all around them. Pisces needs to learn how to ground themselves, not all the time though of course. Getting lost in a sea of dreams and emotions can be tiring. Sometimes you have to take a break and connect with the world again. It's very reassuring to know that all the answers we seek are just all around us. Literally, they're in the sun, the stars, the planets, the skies. It's such a great experience to just be alive as human beings and to be guided by astrology. Thank you for sticking with us until the end of this video. We really appreciate you. If you want to know more about astrology and other things magical, please go to our website at astrologyexperts.com. See you on the next video.